First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakwarash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And uh, I was just sitting here looking at this video uh, done by the beloved brother Mike Ala, uh from the GMS Los Angeles camp. All right, uh, his YouTube handle here is uh, GMS Inspiration and Motivation. All right, make sure that you subscribe. Constantly be edified. The title of this video, Where Has the Respect for Your Elders Gone? A Disrespectful Generation. And uh, brothers is making some very, very heavy points. Uh, very heartfelt video. Um, and like he said in that video, we're living in an age, you know, of the uh, social media to where it's very easy to get caught up in pride. It's very easy to get caught up in exalting yourself. And uh, this is that generation, all right, where it's, uh, it's ultimately a lack of respect. And it talks about that in the book of Proverbs, I believe the 31st chapter or the 30th chapter, how there's a generation who has no respect for their mother and their father. Now, that's on a carnal sense, too. We look at these wild monsters out here in, in these streets and have no respect towards their, their actual parents, but then in, in spirit, all right, our mother is wisdom, all right, and there's particular men, all right, who was set up uh, in the spirit by the Most High through his only begotten son to go out and teach so that we can have a chance, all right, to be uh, shown the right way, okay, and um, what we've, you know, uh, awakened to through the spirit, all right, uh, it's not, you know, what we've learned from these men, now, we didn't learn how to shoot a jump shot. We didn't learn how to uh, uh, cook. All right? Though, you know, coming into this knowledge, you know, you do, you know, meet particular brothers and you do learn things about herbs and cooking and stuff like that. But more importantly, okay, we've learned, all right, uh, 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 the scriptures, man, you know, which gives us a shot at eternal life. All right, this is bigger than... uh anything this world could offer, all right, and uh, along the process, you know, because I was there, you know, in 2007, all right, when this word started to explode, and, um, you know, and I'm not just giving a testimony based upon the fact that I uh, am under the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, but, you know, I listened to uh, Nate before he was IUIC. I saw his ministry, okay, and how he would post videos, all right, uh, 10 minute videos, and then pretty much charge you uh, to get the rest of the breakdown, all right, and he was doing that, and um, I remember hitting Nate up, like, you know, I don't have any money, and he did send me a DVD of a breakdown, I will give Nate that, but he was uh, charging, Okay, and then you had GOCC who was out there, but it wasn't really faithfully, but he was calling on the name of Yahweh. He was teaching the mark of the beast is the chip. All right, a whole totally different spirit than what you see him now, you know. But when the apostles and elders, which those are the first men I saw, but, you know, we all go through that stage, you know, where you're uh, wiggling around, so to speak, trying to find your way. And, and, and gain understanding and the heavenly father will eventually you know lead you the way that you're supposed to go based upon your lot because we all have different you know lots you have some people who are supposed to be uh, where they are all right but we are where we are nonetheless and i can say that you know coming up under the apostles and elders they were the ones who got on youtube and lit a fire under younger brothers asses to get out there and teach you know, prior to them, all right, it was just a, you know, a few scattered videos here and there. And they started to load up videos to where it was, you know, uh, you know, part one through part 30, because there was 10 minute videos and we would watch every Saturday faithfully. OK, I didn't know the full I didn't have a understanding of the full moon. So from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, you know, when I followed the Sabbath that way, um. I was I was I was getting busy, man, going into the you know things I had never, you know, knew existed. 
You know, I come from a college background. You know, I didn't know a goddamn thing. So I, I was humbled, you know, but overall, you know, it was through uh, the most high through his only begotten son. But he used these particular men, uh, you know, as as uh, figureheads, man, as father figures in the spirit. All right. And then, you know, once you get to know them and hear their story and how they were laboring, you know, how they were kicked out of the old school and they were the only ones who, after the 2000, you know, uh, ordeal. All right. Because the whole year 2000 prophecy and all of that, that was something that was taught by the whole school at that time. But, you know, here in these times, that whole doctrine is being placed upon <laughs> the Apostle Tahar. But it is what it is. All right, man, that man has a special spirit, you know, the, the accusation and things that come up on him and the men up under him, you know, and how they continuously go. You know, some of us probably would have broken, you know, if we had to go through some of the things that these men went through. But the Heavenly Father has a spirit on them. And I'm not just saying this uh, as a as a form of ass kissing or anything, but, you know, seeing these men labor, hearing their story, hearing about how before there was a YouTube, these men were out teaching, uh, teaching, you know, 10 years straight, all right, no cameras, you know, no fruit, all right, before they decided to put their videos up on YouTube, it's inspiring, and it's something, uh, even if us brothers who learned up under them are separated from them, we should always keep in mind, all right, that uh, we entered into men's labor, all right, but then you've had particular men come amongst us, learn from those men, and then, you know, once they separated, they took the uh, road of disrespect, all right? And now you see in these times, that, you know, the apostles are being called old and wore out and played out, you know, which in the law, um, in the law itself, because I typed in these scriptures, you know, because overall it's basically uh, what I wanted to go into is taking the humble route and focusing on a word. All right. It's far above the praises of men and the high road that men are uh, taking in this time. All right. Now, let's get that in the book, which this uh, the brother Maka'ala, he brought this out. All right. And in the law, Leviticus, the 19th chapter. OK. In the 32nd verse. I thought I had Internet connection anyway. In the 32nd verse. um, was it Leviticus 1932? Luke, I'm in Luke. So like your Leviticus, uh, the 19th chapter, in the 32nd verse. All right. Um, it says, Thou shalt rise up before the hoary head, all right, and honor the face of the old man, and fear thy God. I am the Lord. Now, I loaded a video yesterday. You know, where the Apostle Gabar is edifying on, you know, the book of Hebrews, you know, who wrote it, which is edification, you know, and a dude comes on, you know, calling him old, saying this dude is 60 years old. He's defending the man. And when we're defending Paul, we're defending the gospel because uh, Peter himself, who was the head of the circumcision. All right. There's no scripture of him saying Paul's writings are off. So why should why would we? All right. Uh, we were warned about that, that men would stumble at Paul's writing. So when we do these videos, correcting particular men who are saying some very, very proud and high minded things. All right. We're not doing that because uh, we get a, got a hard on to do it. It's because that we know that there's sheep watching both camps. All right. And a lot of our people are caught up in the high, the, the, the high minded, the fame, the, you know, the YouTube likes, the YouTube views and, you know, the rap and things like that and then they forget about the word of the lord because you see what's happening here in these latter days is that you know the the the, the praises of men and you know fame and you know riches and power it gets to people man and that's one thing that i've always uh understood and you know even coming into my own in this truth one thing that i'm happy that i don't have is that that great you know that great you know like my page i mean it may have a few you know uh followers but i don't want all of that attention man because i know men all right and i know the flesh that shit will get to you man all right the power all right some men take power all right and they'll use it for or for uh as a a cloak 
All right. And that's what you had in the book of uh, Matthew, the 23rd chapter where I was at. OK. Matthew, the 23rd chapter. Where was I at? Where I was at, uh, you know, Yahweh was a uh, warning about, you know, the high minded scribes and Pharisees. Now, at that time. OK. At that time, when you read this chapter, you know, these scribes and Pharisees and, you know, men who, you know, had the praises of men that were called rabbi and all of these various different things. You know, they were famous, man. They had, you know, the hell of followers, man. You know, to the point where it got to their head, all right, and, you know, like now, I mean, you look at these camps, they have all of these followers and all of this, and it, it gets to their head. They even bring it up in their videos and say we're jealous about it. But the thing is this, these men are saying some very, very hard things to the point where Israel doesn't even care. Israel's caught up who they like, okay? They're caught up in, in who's more popular, who, who, who appeals more to their flesh, over what's really being said. Okay, so when you have a man say, you know, men saying things like John the Baptist is not in the truth. John the Baptist is a plate of fish. John, hand me the hot sauce. I mean, you would think that people would, 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 would that would that would be a red flag and people would be like, oh, hell no. Nah. All right, but they, they gain more followers after that. All right, people ain't listening to that and saying, no, nah, hell no. Nah. You don't have other leaders of other camps saying, wait a minute, that's too far. Because everybody's caught up in their flesh, man. No one's really, really serious. Not, you know, I'm not saying no one. But, and that's where, you know, Great Millstone gets annoying because we're willing to put our neck on the line as a sacrifice and say something about these things. You can't just say John the Baptist fell out of the truth when that was, I mean, his humility. He didn't take the high road of, because he could have, you know, took the high road of, I'm a descendant of Aaron. I'm the you know chief this and I, he he could have did that uh, above anyone. Yahweh Shah himself came up on the earth and he has spiritual capability, and he took the low road. You see, the low road is the best way to go in this truth, and we have examples, all right, on this earth of men, all right, who are doing that, and that's the best example because we're simple, man. Okay, I didn't get to where I am in this truth just on my own. Now the heavenly Father has you know, dealt with me, but it was, it was examples and men that he set up for me to watch and follow through the spirit. All right. To, to, to keep me on the right path, because man, I'm telling you, there's thoughts that'll come into your mind with simple comments from people, you know, with simple likes, with simple, with simple, the, 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 you know, the, the, you'll get high minded, man. So you constantly need to be brought back to the, to that humble humility understanding, man, because pride, all right, uh, uh, money, all right, fame, okay, all of these things put demons on you, man, and when you look at our people who link into Esau's system, okay, you wonder, damn, why, you know, the, 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 but why, why would they continue in that, seeing how wicked it is, well, when you start to get power, man, when you tell a motherfucker to sit, and they sit, <laughs> Like, seriously, man, that'll put some serious demons on you, man. When people, everywhere you go, people taking pictures of you, telling you how great you are. Like, you'll, you'll get to a point where you don't even think about the most high. You don't even think about how your actions can be brought, you know, to, you can be judged. Those things pretty much flee, all right, from your uh, uh, mind to where you, you, no one could tell you anything. Right now, we heard the guy tell you know, whoever he was debating, and I don't have to bring up his name because it's all bigger than them. And see, there's something happening in the spirit overall that Israel should be taking heed to. But Israel's caught up in their emotions, coming onto the page saying it's too late in the game for this. Why is there arguing? Y'all GMS, y'all hating. Stop defending the man. Paul is just a man. All of these various different well, people don't really understand and see what the heavenly father is saying through all of this, because all of this is ordained by the heavenly father. Above us, we're just vessels, man. But you see, Israel should be looking at what is the father saying above who you like the most, above, you know, uh, a man, you know, because all they're going to do is get onto their videos and play the victim. GMS want to kill my, they used to pray, wishing death upon my mama, my daughter, man, they want to kill me. Because they've been caught out there. 
You see? Playing the victim. You know, doing all of this, 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 this weirdo shit. But at the end of the day, what's being addressed is they're lacking in the in the in the scriptures, man, in the Holy Spirit. Okay? But what is the Lord saying overall? Now, when you deal with Matthew, the 23rd chapter, I know I'm rambling. All right, but hey, read, read Ecclesiastes, Solomon was rambling too. All right. When you read Matthew, the 23rd chapter, when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, he was met with a with a whole hell of a lot of opposition from the chief priests and, you know, the various different, you know, uh, Pharisees and different sects that were around at that time because of, you know, they were making money, man. OK, and they would make laws, OK, within the law to keep people in bondage. All right. They would go into the Hebrew letters and make laws based upon those laws. So men and women were in captivity to these particular uh, 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 chief priests and, and Pharisees and, and scribes who were around at that time. So as Yahweh Shai came, you know, they were like, to hell with it. You know, why would I? Because they knew that a Messiah was to come according to the prophecy. But when he came, you know, they were in a, a position of power within, you know, although uh, uh, Judea was a province to the Roman Empire. OK, uh, these men were, were on top of the world, so to speak. I mean, you know, the, the, the chief priests and all of that, they were getting money. They were public figures everywhere they went. People was running after them and you know, asking them questions. You know, can you sacrifice this? Can you could you take me to keep cleanse my? You know, so they were like, man, why would I take the position of this guy when your shot comes on the scene when I got all of this? And you could hear it in these men's speeches, it's the same thing all over again. So don't get caught up in them trying to play on people's emotions, wearing a black love hat, trying to get you to think that they're these caring, you know, loving individuals, squeaky clean, and we're the hateful ones. We want to kill them. We're wishing death upon their cat, you know, their dog, their bird. All right. We, every time we see them, we're chasing them down. It's not like that, man. All right. Overall, the Heavenly Father is exposing something. That you Israelites need to really, really take into consideration on what you're listening to and what you're allowing, all right, to lead you through the Holy Spirit, man. So this is Matthew, the 23rd chapter in the uh, 12th verse, man, because the humble road is the best road to take because we're entering into men's labors. We're built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. OK, nothing else. We're coming into something. We didn't create this and start this on our own. OK, even in the law where the high priest after the order of Aaron, I might say, uh, uh, in Numbers, the eighth chapter, when he re retires from the physical, you know, uh, temple duty. All right. He is still to be used as a counselor. OK, of what you should and shouldn't do. All right. And a lot of times men. All right. Will 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 uh, balk at counsel because it's not what fills their belly, but it's the best counsel. Needed And there's times, you know, coming up where you may not understand a particular order of your elders, where you may think it's a little outdated, where you may think this and this and that. All right. But through experience, you look back upon that advice that they gave you. You like, damn, that, that made perfect sense. So the road that our apostles have taken through focusing on the word, not exalting themselves. All right. Constantly laboring, you know, not linking the, the ministry uh, uh, to the to, to Babylon the Great, because you have churches in particular men who are very, very heavily linked their church to Babylon, just like particular scribes and Pharisees and these high minded chief priests link their, you know, uh, 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 ministry to the Roman Empire. Today, you have the 501c3. Now, I don't I know that IUIC and you know, ISUPK, they're under the 501c3, but I don't know about you know, anyone else, you know, and, you know, the things that these men are saying, you know, we don't know the name of the most high and his son. These things should be, you know, you would think that these things would be, you know, more spoken about amongst other camps. You would think that these things would be attacked hardcore. All right, but as everyone just takes this pretty much this fall back approach. All right. But then we bring out a law on how a rape was handled in the ancient world and everyone has an opinion. OK, you have a man saying that Paul is not speaking in the Holy Spirit. Now, Paul himself was not perfect. Right. The only perfect man to walk this earth is Yahweh Shai. OK, Paul had fought in the flesh 
But to say that he is his his writings are not of the Holy Spirit and not the word of God. All right. What that does, it, 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 it then casts doubt for anything else for a weak listener. Because, man, you got to understand Israel is simple as hell, man. I know how simple as hell I was when I came in. So just imagine this new generation and these brothers and sisters who are coming out of Christianity or coming out of whatever they were into hearing these things. All right. And not tripping. They should be tripping. OK, because what, what happens is you get caught up in YouTube likes views and not the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. OK. So. When Yahweh Shai said this in Matthew, the 23rd chapter, okay, it says, whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted, man. That was a very, very powerful saying, man, okay, because we're not here to exalt ourselves, okay, and we all get those thoughts, all right, I, you know, I'm just being honest, as a man, there's thoughts that'll come into your head, okay, I could do this, I can do that. But you got to subdue that shit, man. And I'm just being honest. A lot of men won't be honest about the things that come into their minds being in the flesh. But I'm just being honest. Shit will creep into your head to try to put demons on you, man. Just because people like your videos. just th That's the simplicity of this flesh. Right? But what do you have to do? You, 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 that's why you have to walk in the spirit. Because if you don't walk in the spirit, that flesh will eventually consume you. And humility goes out of the door. And this whole thing is about humility. Reading about Yahawashai, how he came onto the scene and he had spiritual capabilities and he didn't take down the Roman Empire. That humility got sped on, was a, was a sacrifice, knowing he could have stopped it. But understanding what was, what was needed for prophecy's sake, that's powerful, man. Didn't revile. That's powerful, man. Imagine if some of these very men had the power Yahweh had. They would lose it. It would fuck everything up. Okay? The humility of all of our forefathers, man. We're supposed to take these examples, all right, and apply them to now. All right, here it is. Uh, 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 David, okay, ha still had respect and reverence for Saul, who was trying to put him to death. Okay? But here it is. You, you look at the disrespect that men who have been awakened through the Holy Spirit, through particular men's labor, and this time the disrespect and the high-minded role that they're taking. I took the, I took the, uh, 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 the, uh, the, I forget the, the, you know, the torch. I took it. When there's other men under Apostle Jahar that, 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 that are highly esteemed, even above me. So these things, all right, cannot be pushed and pass down to the followers because they'll look at this shit as okay. And what you see now is a culture of absolute disrespect amongst Israel. Now, let me get this scripture real quick because I'm all over the place, but that's the way that that's the, what the spirit wanted. And the scriptures are all over the place. You read the apostles and prophets thoughts and the writings. Okay. It was just in the spirit, man. So let me get Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus 25. I'm going to roll out, but it's just some thoughts. I'm just putting thoughts on paper, you know. Oh, Sirach. Let me just type in Sirach 25. Sirach 25, 4 through 6. Oh, how calmly a thing. Oh, how calmly a thing is judgment for gray hairs and for ancient men to no counsel. So you got men on these, these men are old and played out and outdated and yada, yada, yada. That's a very, very horrible approach, man. And you should repent. Okay. Because these men have labored, man, and put their lives on the line. All right. Only for us to be awakened in the Holy Spirit, to have examples. All right. Who lit a fire under our ass. Because before these men came on YouTube, Israel was not popping like that. Okay. I was there. And I'm not speaking, like I said, I'm not speaking from a position of ass kissing and just because I'm under these men. I saw it. I was there and was listening to Nate 
and 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 uh, 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 Elder recall uh, before the GOCC thing. Uh, I believe it was the Gathering of Christ or whatever. And I saw Yohanna pop up here and there, and, you know, and wasn't really. But but the men who truly fed the flock, okay, and went got on the YouTube and and and, and was like, oh shit, okay, to where you know we we were opened up is the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, all of them. Okay, the ones who have the more famous pages and the ones who have the pages where it's not that many views. All of them play a very, very important role of this word being kicked out there and pushed out there. Okay, and you can't just come up on the scene because that's not our culture, man. All right? You're promoting the law, but then within the law, you're supposed to have a certain reverence and respect for the particular men, especially those who labor in the faith. All right, and that's not being pushed. So what you have, like I said, is a culture of monsters, just people thinking they can say and do any and everything they want. And I myself at times have to check myself. Now, who the hell are you? All right. Now. And that comes from, you know, having conversations with particular apostles and elders and understanding. Damn. OK, it's not about the high, it's about humility, man. And to see how they deal with one another, straightforward with one another, rebuke one another, love one another. Okay, a lot of people, you know, they 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 say, well, you, man, you brothers in Dallas. Yeah, man, where do you think we learned all of this? <laughs> we learned all of this from going up and, and sitting at the feet of the apostles and elders on how to be brothers, how to deal with things, be straightforward. That's not my spirit. I'm not one to deal with confrontation and, and, and you know, my heart beats when I have to rebuke. My heart beats you know, I'm very timid in that sense, but it's a uh, characteristic that you have to have, okay, in order to lead. So I had to put my flesh to the side and, and, and add all of these things into my arsenal. But I, I will say this, though it's through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the men that he set up to lead us, that cannot be ignored, okay? That cannot be ignored. So it says, oh, how calmly a thing it's judgment for gray hairs and for ancient men to know counsel. Oh, how calmly is the wisdom of old men and understanding all right, and counsel of men of honor. Much experience is the crown of old men and the fear of God is their glory. So you, the, the fear of the Lord is to understand and respect your elders, man. Okay. And yes, the elders are going to see things different, you know, than the younger generation. But the younger generation has to really, really understand that. Though that sacrifice those men made, all right, is a, is a big part of why you're even here. You see, imagine if you continuously follow guys like Nathaniel Seven. What would you be teaching right now? You'd be teaching the name of the Lord is G Jesus Christ and God. We don't know the name, okay? Uh, uh, uh promoting the, these these weirdo doctrines. Imagine if you follow Johanna, okay? Anal sex is okay. Okay, John the Baptist fell out of the truth like that, though, though, that. That's bugged out. But because men are so caught up in the flesh, who they like, that don't matter to them. And then they'll throw out the false rape accusation, the, uh, the, the you know, the 12 year old thing, which I ain't gonna lie. That bothers me in the flesh. But I understand that it's a part of the uh, uh, what the Heavenly Father wanted us to go through. We just have to go through that. All right. But it is what it is. All right. I just know. <laughs> That if it ain't true, man, you men who push that will uh, uh, have to uh, will, will have to answer for that, man. Now, when I uh, went here to Matthew twenty three, I just typed in some precepts. All right, Job twenty two and twenty nine. When men are cast down, then thou shalt say there is a lifting up. All right, and he shall save the humble person. It's about being humble, man. We can't, you know, with the understanding we have and the things that we've learned, don't, don't this, 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 this high minded, you know, pr proud look that that's, that's not it, man. That's not Israel's culture, man. See, you all have taken the culture of this world and the things you've learned in this world. And you haven't fully put off the old man. And yeah, you're going to fight with the old man, but the old man can't be linked with the doctrine and pushed. For other people to see because they'll think that that shit is okay because as a young man or a young uh, person coming into this thing 
people who, who you see breaking the scriptures down and they're calling for this precept, that precept, you like, oh shit, this is, you know, then once they start doing things that are evil and wicked, you'll justify that shit saying, well, he does it. I know how the human mind works. How much more in this truth? I know what goes on in the minds of particular brothers. I know because I've been there and I'm still fighting. All right. Proverbs 15 and 33. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom and before honor is humility. Okay. Proverbs 29 and 20. Uh, let me see. Proverbs 16 and 18. I got to roll out pride. Go up before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Better is it to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide, to divide the spoil with the proud. All right. Because the proud. All right. And, and, and I'll say this. You're going to have more. Israel is going to flock. OK, there's more wicked Israelites than there are Israelites who are serious about the word. Case in point, the controversial videos will have thousands of views. But the videos that are very, very edifying and very important going into particular things in gospel and history you notice those are the least clicked on videos. Okay, when you see woman in the title, you're more you're drawn to click on it because of this world and, and how women are, are put on this pedestal. So you you're gonna click on that. But there's there's more people that are that are here for a show, that are here for, you know, uh to divide the spoil with the wicked and the proud than those who are humble and really are here to learn the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Understand that. So don't get caught up in numbers because that I'm telling you, man, that stuff can put demons on you. I'm talking about I know men who've come across money. And they all and this is even before I came in and they was like, man, the, that power puts demons on you. Being able to tell a motherfucker to sit <laughs> and they do it. You, you it, 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 it's, 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 it's something is not what you want. Think it, you think you want it. But when you get it. You start to X out the Messiah. You start to, you know, think you can get away and do this and do that. But all of these things, these actions are going to be brought, okay, uh, 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 brought up. Okay, you're going to have to answer for these things, man. Okay? Telling people they can't disagree with you because you don't. Yeah, the, 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 just imagine what's going on that we don't know. Right? And there's men who've left these camps and come out and said things, but... At the end of the day, they su they supposed to keep teaching, but a lot of them they so caught up in their emotions they don't really fully ever, you know, get over the bitterness. That's another thing, man. If you get you know uh, uh, you know excommunicated from a camp, okay, yeah, you may do your video all in your feelings, but there comes a point where enough is enough, man. You got to teach the word. All right, like you got this dude who left the Sakari camp, and he, that's all he talks about. The dudes who left IUIC, that, that's all they talked about. Now one of them is on video, Judah twerking, man. With his legs, pulling his legs behind his head. I'm like, and, and this is serious. There's real live demons being put on men right before our eyes, man. To Zariok, he's to the point where he's so caught in his flesh and the pride and the, the praises of people that he don't even care about what the scriptures say. So these are all examples, man. Look, <laughs> brothers, you know, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Whoever shall humble himself as this little child. And the thing about children, when they get chastened and rebuked, all right, two minutes later, they'll, 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 they love you, man. They ain't tripping. Men get rebuked and they lose their damn mind. And we can go into all of the stories of these men when they were amongst our camps, but it doesn't matter at this point. All right, you supposed to, you got to figure things out in the spirit, those of you who are watching, man. Because if there's some of you who will watch our video and say, man, that's a good point. Then you go to their video and they play on your emotions and, you know, they hate us, man. They think they do. And you, you man, they right, man. GMS do be. But, but you never fully get rooted in what, what, what you believe in. You never work out your own salvation, man. You think when the chariots come, you're that wishy-washy, toss to and fro spirit is going to have you deliver? No, you're going to make a fucked up decision. Luke 1 and 51, he have showed strength with his arm. He have scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He have put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them uh, of low degree. First Peter's, uh, James 4, 6. 
but he give it more grace. Wherefore he said, God resisted the proud, but he give it grace unto the humble. All right. Uh, likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another, be clothed with humility. All right. But God, for God resisted the proud and give it grace unto the humble. All right. And there's so much more I want to say, but, um, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, I'll end it there. Let's look up this word, uh, proud, real quick. Damn. Proud. Hyper. <laughs> Hyper phanos. What does that word phanos mean? Showing oneself above others, overtopping, concupiscence above others, preeminence. Okay, with an overweening estimate of one's means or merits, despising others or even treating them with contempt. And you get the uh, you get the vibe looking at some of these men teach that they, they, you know, they lord over particular men under them and talk shit and make people feel like shit, you know, uh, you know, make mockery of others in front of others, you know. But, hey, you know, the angels see everything. Yahweh Bashim Yashah got it. All right. We just got to, you know, uh, uh, make sure that we stay humble and thank Yahweh Bashim Yashah for setting up, all right, men, all right, that, that, that labored, man, and didn't give up because that is very, very important to our walk, man. So with that, Shalom.